Cardiff, the capital of cricket and home to three major sporting universities. Usually fierce rivals on the field, cricket has brought the three together under the banner of one organisation. But who and what is that organisation? I've come down to Sunkist Sophia Gardens to find out a little bit more. Yeah, so the MCCU scheme is now called the UCC scheme. Uh, it's a scheme made up of partner institutions of Cardiff Met, Cardiff University and USW. Uh, and we work with kind of the best cricketers that come through those, those setups and, and form a team out of it. So it's about picking up those players that maybe haven't made it quite yet or those players that are going to mature slightly later on in their time as, as, as kind of young people. Um, it's just about giving them cricket exposure. As well as giving the next generation of cricketing talent the ability to further their educational needs, the pathway provides an opportunity for players to showcase their skills against the best in the business. You're always in the window. Um, you know, when when we're playing against um, players of high class, there's coaches around, and and if you, you play well, you can you never know who's watching um, and and who might like you and and things like that. So it's always about showcasing your ability and and taking your opportunity when it comes. The pathway has seen several students go on to pick up professional contracts from England stars Jack Leach and Rory Burns to more recent graduates such as Glamorgan's Dan Douthwing. And this current crop of Cardiff cricketers will hope to become cricket's next student star. It's quite a few guys that, that probably are on the verge of, of kind of making it into that professional game and, and it's just about kind of putting that attitude right now and, and, and excelling over the next three years, putting themselves in the shop window per se, um, but likewise understanding that, that it's about rounding as a person. So those players that are going to come good in three years time or they might be coming good in the next six months, it'll just happen that kind of, kind of naturally. It's too early to tell if any of these players will go on to become the next Jack Leach, but one thing is for certain, by balancing both cricket and education, they're putting themselves in the best position to succeed, both on and off the field.